जैसे कि आपको बताया गया है एंड आई थिंक इन योर माइंड यू मस्ट हैव परसीव्ड दैट आई एम अ लीडर यस आई एम अ लीडर एंड आई बिलीव ईच वन ऑफ अस इज अ लीडर इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ व्हाट एज वी आर एट एंड रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ व्हाट स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ वी आर इन सो इवन एज अ स्टूडेंट भले ही आपके खुद का फ्रेंड सर्कल हो या आपके स्कूल में आपके ग्रुप्स हो गए फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू प्ले फुटबॉल और इफ यू प्ले हॉकी यू मस्ट बी रियली गुड एट इट सो इन दैट सेंस कर्ट सी योर टैलेंट एंड योर एबिलिटीज यू ऑलरेडी आर अ लीडर इन ए पर्टिकुलर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ तो मेरा ये मानना है कि लीडरशिप का मतलब जरूरी नहीं है कि आपके पास कोई पद हो इट्स अबाउट टेकिंग रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो आई एम हेयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड इट इज एन एप्सल्यूट ऑनर टू बी हेयर आई मीन वेटिंग फॉर दिस मूवमेंट फॉर वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड आई एम हेयर नॉट एज अ लीडर बट सम वन जस्ट लाइक यू I come from a very humble background from a relatively smaller town pretty much like Chandigarh perhaps if Chandigarh can be called a small town so I'm from Jaipur that's where I was born but my education had happened primarily in south of India aur aapko pata hoga ki south and north pe jo apna education system hai shayad ab ek saman ho gaya hoga but jab main school mein thi to hamari jab chuttiyan hoti thi south mein और मैं घर आती थी तो यहाँ पे मेरे एज ग्रुप के जो बच्चे थे वो सब स्कूल में होते थे तो या तो मेरा ज़्यादातर समय छुट्टियों में किसी स्कूल की लाइब्रेरी में होता था बिकॉज आई वॉज ऑल्सो पेन पैस विद सम ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल्स इन जयपुर और आई वुड स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ माई टाइम इन द विलेज ड्यूरिंग माई वेकेशन वेर माई ग्रैंड फादर एंड ग्रेट ग्रैंड मदर हु वॉज माई बेस्टेस्ट ऑफ फ्रेंड टिल आई वॉज इन कॉलेज दैट्स वेन शी पास्ट and uh, because of that i spent a lot of my time in the village to pata nahi mere ko mere lambe baal vagera thoda sa itrate bhi hain to pata nahi aapko samajh mein aayega ya nahi aayega par jab main bachpan mein jab choti thi to i was a bit of a tomboy main ek jagah tik ke nahi baith sakti thi to ye kursi maine isliye yahan par rakhwai hai because i know if i'm standing i'll just be pacing all over the floor so so that's how restless i am तो उसकी वजह से मेरा जो इंटरेक्शन गांव वालों के साथ था और आपको पता है नॉर्थ में ज्यादातर घर के बाहर कौन होता है कौन होते हैं बड़े बुजुर्ग ज्यादातर मर्द होते हैं तो मेरा जो इंटरेक्शन गांव के पुरुष के साथ था दैट वाज क्वाइट हार्ड और वो भी विलेज के एल्डर्स थे मैं छोटी थी तो उन लोगों ने मुझे पैम्पर भी किया था बट आई ग्रू अप इन अ वेरी होलिस्टिक इंक्लूसिव इन्वायरमेंट शायद कहीं ना कहीं उसकी वजह ये होगी कि आई केम फ्रॉम अ फौजी बैकग्राउंड सो इसलिए जो फैक्शंस जो डिफरेंट डिविजन्स या भेदभाव जो हम अक्सर करते हैं मैं उसमें नहीं पनी पड़ी साथ में साउथ में जो स्कूल में थी उसका नाम ऋषि वाली स्कूल है वहाँ पर भी हमें कभी किसी प्रकार का भेदभाव की भावना है जो होती है उसके बारे में कभी किसी ने कुछ बोला नहीं इट वॉज अ वेरी इंक्लूसिव रिस्पेक्टफुल इन्वायरमेंट दैट आई ग्रू अप इन और उसी की वजह से बचपन से मुझे लगा कि मेरा गांव एक परिवार है जहाँ सब एक जुट होके और मुझे याद है अभी भी जब मैं छोटी थी और काफ़ी सालों तक मैंने यही देखा था कि गांव में कुछ भी हो जाए चाहे एक परिवार में किसी भी प्रकार की समस्या हो वट एवर द चैलेंज मे बी everyone else would come together and find a solution to that problem and uplift and help that individual or that family so that was the spirit of camaraderie ship which i find somewhere is missing as of today we are breaking down as a community we are disintegrating because we're becoming more and more self-centered and not inclusive and meri jo journey rahi hai so like all of you i went on to do higher education because i believed that with education with exposure with knowledge comes a sense of bringing in innovativeness and um, but with that it is also important that your mind is kept open that you are like a sponge willing to be a child willing to be a student your entire life and i think that's the biggest joy that personally gives me the strength and confidence that i have even whatever age i may be at i'm not telling what that is um but i feel very youthful i feel like a child i have that bubbliness and 
that curiosity which annoys people beyond belief. But I'm proud of it. Because because of that, I'm constantly learning. Because I believe I can be in the midst of great faculty members, people who've done PhDs and so on and so forth, great actors to learn from. And I can be out on the street learning from a street urchin. Jobacha uh manta ho ya pen beach la ho. Somewhere there's something I can learn from him or her too. And that's what makes life exciting for me. And uh, again, because of that inclusive environment that I grew up in, whether I live in a city or I live in a village, to me it does not matter. Because my belief is that as human beings, we are all the same. We all have similar dreams. We all have similar aspirations. But the difference is that one person will be in the city that he will have a Mercedes in the city. तो उसका चाहेगा मारुति हो और मैं गांव में मेरे पास दो पहिया वाहन हो बट वॉट इज द वॉट इज द कॉमन एलिटी इन इट एनी वन वट्स द कॉमन थ्रेड इट्स अ मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इट इज अ टूल दैट्स गोन मेक माई लाइफ ईजियर वेदर आई रोमन आउट इन मर्सिडीज और ऑन अ यामा बाइक इट रियली डजन मैटर ऑन अ बाइसिकल यस दैट रिक्वायर्स अ लिटल मोर एफर्ट But it brings me from point A to point B. And how I aspire to grow as an individual and how I can contribute to taking along that path of growth as a community, I think that for me is what is most important. Because I have to say that we all have the potential. The potential is where we want to go. So we have to take our talents together. एक्सपर्टीज को एक साथ मिलके एज अ कोलेबरेटिव फोर्स वी कैन चेंज द फेस ऑफ आवर नेशन बट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू बिलीव इन दैट एंड टू डू दैट इज समथिंग दैट समीर सेड यू हैव टू बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ यू हैव टू नो योर सेल्फ इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड द टू क्वेश्चन आई रिकमेंड यू थिंक ऑफ वॉट आर योर वैल्यूज एंड दैट इज एन आंसर that you need to give to your own self don't think about other people ye mat socho ki dusre ki aapse kya apeksha hai chahe wo aapke mata pita ho bhai ban ho ya aapke teachers ho ya friends ho do not get influenced by it aap sabko pata hai ki apna aksar log bolte hain besides this which is the other brain sorry yes. sir said it but amongst the students anyone If you heard sir you can repeat it. The gut. Gut jo hai intuition. Intuition hum samajhte hain. So very often that is referred to as some people say first brain, some say second brain. I believe it's the first brain because it sends us certain transmitters, certain messages which are very very important to listen to. And through my own experience I wish someone had told me that when I was younger that it is important to learn to your intuition because it almost always is right and I've noticed ki jab bhi pe maine usse nazar andaaz kiya hai maine kahin na kahin thokar hi payi hai right so learn to to uh, nurture that and believe in it and believe you me that's going to help you sail through whatever calamities you may come across in your life it will take you through now i can continue talking about that but i'm guessing there's a lot that's been spoken about uh, in terms of getting to know yourself and mental health but that's not where i want to go to so one is understanding what you value or what your values are and also being aware of where you want to get and then work towards building your capabilities towards achieving that goal and again that goal has to be your personal goal agar main as a parent aapko bolu ki bhi aapko doctor banna hai engineer banna hai usme zyada paise hai don't do it to appease your parents do it because that is your dream because when you're doing something that that belongs to you that is your own 
that no matter what kind of hardships you have to go through, you will enjoy every moment of it. It will become joyful. And then the output also, therefore, becomes more prominent and transformative. And I think that is what helped me. My journey, if I would come back to my story, has been, I did my MBA. I, um, and to tell you the truth, that was, that was to move away from the pressure of marriage because I was not emotionally and mentally ready for it. So I figured what's the best thing to do? Continue studying. And it worked for me. And then I worked in the corporate sector. I worked in Bombay, Delhi. My boss in Delhi wanted someone local, and I'd been away from home for a very, very long time. So I decided, okay, here's an opportunity to come back home. So I came back home to Jaipur in 2006. And I was still in the corporate sector. Parallelly, my parents had a small business of their own. It was a small hotel. So I started helping my mother run it and also opened up my own horse riding academy because that was my passion. And I wanted to make owning horses affordable. So it made complete sense to me. And Achanak, it wasn't my idea. Universe had something else planned for me. So in towards the, I think, end of 2009, my village residents decided that they wanted me to become the Sarpanch. It was their dream. It was their desire. And it was because there's, there happens to be a reserved seat for women. So 2010 was a reserved seat for women. And that's how I came into the forefront. And jo log aaye the mujhe samjhane ke liye, mujhe convince kar li, karne ke liye, wo hoi log the jinhone bachpan mein mujhe apne kandhu pe gumaya tha, apne tractor mein idhar se udhar le jate the. So these were the men who made that decision. So while there was an emotional angle, which they thought I would not say no to, but I also told them that you might want to think again. They thought they could, because of that emotional connect and bond that I had with them, they thought that they could influence me. And I said, come what may, even though you are the ones who are deciding to make me the sarpanch, but if I find out what you're doing is wrong, I will call you out. And unhe laga yari yeh to bachchi hai, isko bhi kya pata? Ek dum system mein aayegi, us mein dhena padega, and phir jaisa system chalta hai, yeh waise hi chalegi. But, luckily, um, I think my first day in office after being elected, uh, I announced to everybody ki hum sarpanch bane hai, and I'm not here for my own self, I'm here for the betterment of the society, for the village. And therefore, even if I'm not in office, Every individual has the right to come into the panchayat office to demand to know what kind of funds have come in, where is it going to be spent, when and how. And I would love for people to oversee the projects that are going on because I cannot possibly be physically present at multiple sites when the execution of the project is going on. And I realized that they weren't used to it. But... My having said that, because I'm all about transparency, accountability, authenticity. And seeing that, very interestingly, within the first five days itself, the transformation, like Aksar Log Bolte, Ki Bhai mindset, but Nabot Mushkile. But I noticed during the within the very first and second day that changing mindsets is not difficult. What is required is for people to talk to each other the way you and I are talking to each other, respectfully, and treating each other at par. Because when you do that, whatever facades, whatever walls we have created around us to protect ourselves, and that is what the brain does, it chooses to always, always, if you observe, identify threats. And it will find excuses not to allow you to go beyond your comfort zone. But when I am talking to you in a chilled manner, I know I'm getting a little serious, but when that happens, we open up, like how you opened up to my questions, right? And then it becomes easier. So in the same manner, I was able to work with the village residents and up manning in a... I also believe when you're open to people, you have to be authentic, which means that even your vulnerability, you should be willing to share. 
Yes or no? But often what does society teach us? That being sensitive and being vulnerable is a sign of weakness. But is it? What do you think? If I'm saying that mujhe computer chalana nahi aata, does that make me stupid? No, right? It just means I need to acquire the skills to do that. So if you have those skills and I'm asking you to help me, it doesn't make me small. We have to learn humility. We need to learn to be grounded. We need to shed the ego. And I've seen many days ago, if we talk urban rural, ki baat karte hai, jo urban areas se aate hai, logo ki madad karne ke liye, aksar wo hota hai with a sense of ego, with a sense of entitlement, with a superiority um, complex, for lack of a better word. And, um, and I think somewhere, because of the degrees we hold, we think we are better than others. But in reality, there is immense wisdom, in, even amongst the people who may not be literate. And I will cite an example. When I started out working in the village, I realized we did not have funds. Unfortunately, I did not have technology. Internet connectivity in 2010 was not available in all the villages. My village did not have it. I did not have a team like you all to work with who were educated and knew how to use technology. And I feel technology is the solution to a lot of problems that our country faces. Our challenges are not one-dimensional, they're multidimensional, but there is a solution to it all. And the beauty of youths, of the energy that you all bring to the table, is phenomenal. And the fact that you have access to technology and it comes more naturally to, to you than it does to us older generations means you can make that impact in not just the rural sector, but across the country and make the country grow and go forward the way I think each one of us would want it to. And coming back to the local wisdom. So, we pass funds and to vulnerability. So, try and get that from what I'm sharing with you. So, when I became the Sarpanj, our biggest challenge was that the area had suffered the worst drought. And from what the village residents said, they had not seen good rains for a span of almost 13 to 14 years. So you can imagine how bad that was. The groundwater could not even be used, wasn't fit to be used for agriculture. Lokya pirete, ekdam khara pani. Itna khara, jaise ki, ek chote se glass mein agar koi pani aapko de, to aise lagta tha ki jaise chhe chabmach namak ke usme daale hoon. So that's how saline it was. And that is what people were surviving on. And the first thought that came to me, which I did not voice, was why have they not, not left the village? But the answer was clear. You don't have proper education. You don't have skill sets. And if you were to migrate to a better place, which is the closest city, being Jaipur, and you're not able to find yourself a job, you can't afford the shelter that you're hoping to get, then obviously you will break down. There was at least that sense of respect, the fact that you had a chat over your head. And there is that respect that comes to you and that self-confidence that I have a place I can call home. But if I move to the city, that's taken away from me, right? So I'm, of course, simplifying things. So, um, so water for us was critical because after air, you need that to survive. And I realized the panchayat funding was not enough. And as a result, I reached out to the government. Unfortunately, government did not have a scheme through which they would allow me funding to desilt the existing reservoir, the large pond, which was our lifeline. So we didn't think about it. We have worked in the corporate sector. So we corporate social responsibility funding. But unfortunately, my district had no industry, no company. And the people I reached out to who were selling their products and services in my village said, we cannot help you because you're not in close proximity to our offices or plants. So I went back to the village and I told the village residents, here's the problem. I've not been able to raise funds, so we have to find a solution. And you wouldn't believe. 
my recommending that we all come together and and provide voluntary service to desilt the reservoir everyone every individual from every household came to the reservoir and we manually desilt the reservoir to make sure that water we able to harvest the rainwater so that we survive the entire year and have some sort of safer drinking water made available and to, towards that of course my parents saw that i was stressed out so they said don't worry we will help you so i reached out to my own friends and family and within 4 days here and i was chasing people government and private sector from february through till may not a single rupee all shut doors and then when my dad came up with this idea that i'll help you i said okay let me not burden my father let me be a little more creative and i reached out to the friends other friends and in 4 days we raised 10 lakhs of rupees and a uh, a young corporate thank you and a young very young at that time probably 28 years old entrepreneur from delhi heard in an interview of mine on radio and sent us a check of 50000 rupees without doing any due diligence and that reignited my hope what keeps me going going is is the knowledge Uh, and faith in the goodness of people we all want to do something we all want to contribute but we have immense distrust and i think that is what we need to shed my philosophy in life is that you need to trust to distrust which means i have to be open to whoever i come across and unless and until he or she does not cross the boundaries and step onto my toes i should be open to trusting that person and if he or she does prove to be otherwise then i know not to work with that person or to work with that person but cautiously and i think that is what we need to do rather than listening to our brain which is always telling us trust no one right so so i have a lot of examples like this to share with you but i will leave you with this one message that our country has immense potential the only problem is that a lot of it is untapped especially that which exists in rural areas we all are citizens of this country and it is unfair to say that it is the responsibility of just a specific sector for of for example often people say that it's the job of the government no i feel that as human beings and people who can inculcate compassion and empathy which is what i feel each one of us should have which what drives me and gave me the opportunity to be where i am today that is what we need to focus on to understand that what we want what our dreams are could be the dreams of someone else and if we can contribute to its helping that fellow citizen then i feel we must because only when we come together and realize it is one nation and realize it is one planet the earth and irrespective of which part of that planet we live in we coexist we are breathing the same air drinking the same water and the factions and the facades we come up with should be shed because that's the only way we can move forward grow and create not just a better nation but a better planet so i'm hoping that that's what you all will do and And wish you all all the best. Thank you.